Hello. In this video, let's talk about migration. We will discuss why it is such a debated topic, and most importantly, how to ensure a humane and efficient migration and asylum policy in the European Union. Migration is a natural phenomenon, as old as humankind itself. Attempting to stop it by building walls and fences will fail and will increase the suffering of those fleeing wars, poverty or climate disasters. Let's look at some facts and figures about the current situation. The EU has 500 million inhabitants and a gross domestic product making up 22% of the global economy. In 2015, the year with the highest level of displaced people globally since the Second World War, over 1 million people arrived in the EU. This makes up around 0.2% of the EU population. Since then, the numbers have gone down significantly. In total, European countries currently only host 13% of the world's refugees. The vast majority are in Turkey, as well as in the Global South, where Lebanon and Pakistan take in the highest numbers. Due to the ageing of the EU population, figures estimate that the workforce is expected to decline by nearly 42 million over the next 50 years. Migration and increased numbers in the EU workforce will help to close skill gaps and will fill struggling jobs. If the EU is well equipped to manage the recent arrivals of migrants, refugees and asylum seekers, why are so many resistant to it? Many EU citizens are concerned about migration. Their fears are fueled by media and by politicians who sensationalize this issue, often using expressions such as waves, swarm and crisis in relation to migrants. Newcomers and those who seek protection have become a target for populist right-wing parties all over Europe who use them as scapegoats for increased social inequalities and unjust housing and labour policies. This politics of fear with the aim of gaining electoral support is damaging. So what would be a more constructive approach? Here are the first steps we should be taking to improve the current situation. First, a humanitarian visa system the 1951 Geneva Convention guarantees international protection to all people who flee their countries due to the risk of serious human rights violations or persecution against them. The right to asylum is non-negotiable, but far too often people need to risk their lives to travel to Europe. An EU-level humanitarian visa system would allow asylum seekers to apply for visas at embassies and consulates outside the EU, travel to a member state in a safe and legal way after passing proper security checks, and then seek asylum. Second, the end to the criminalization of humanitarian assistance. As there is no safe and legal way to reach the EU, those fleeing war and persecution rely on a smuggling industry that doesn't ensure their safety. Since 2014, over 12,000 people have drowned in the Mediterranean Sea while trying to reach the EU. NGOs carrying out vital rescue operations are being increasingly criminalised. This is a consequence of the so-called Facilitation Directive from 2002 which requests EU member states to impose sanctions on those who assist with clandestine entry or residency. The legislation provides exemptions if the assistance is humanitarian in nature. However, because this exemption isn't mandatory, only a quarter of member states have adopted this exemption in their legislation. Third, we need a fair European asylum system with shared responsibilities. It's clear that the current common European asylum system, with the Dublin regulation as a key component, is dysfunctional and needs to be reformed. A new Dublin regulation, introducing a system based on solidarity and shared responsibility among member states, is urgently needed. This would mean the first country of entry rule is replaced by a permanent and automatic reallocation mechanism. This takes into account, as much as possible, the ties and preferences of asylum seekers to a certain member state, such as family relations, community links and knowledge of language. Every member state must contribute to hosting refugees. By introducing a fair and binding distribution key, the EU can reduce the pressure on individual member states. And finally, we need safe and regular channels for migrants. The pressure on the EU asylum system is due to the lack of alternative to get an official status in the EU. 
The high number of asylum applications takes a lot of time and resources to be properly processed. Other ways of legal migration should be offered. Here's an idea. What about an immigration code which would establish safe and legal ways to migrate, facilitating family reunification and making it easier for migrant workers and students to come to the European Union without putting themselves in danger? So yes, we need more responsibility and a humane and efficient policy around migration, refugees and asylum seekers. Because the EU can, it should take on a leading role in the international community to protect the most vulnerable.